Hi, I'm Randy Liu. I'm a member of Team Poker Stars Online. I regularly play 24 tables at a time, and today I'm going to teach you the five most important things about multi-tabling. Number five, tiling is better than stacking. Well, you don't start 24 tabling overnight. I think it's better for you to add tables slowly. You know, first take it one at a time, two at a time, get good at that then slowly add another table, get really good at three tabling, then four tabling, and so on. Eventually you're going to be multi-tabling as many tables as you want. I think that tiling's better because you can follow all the action. When you stack the tables, you really don't can't follow on a street-by-street -street basis. Like, when you get an action while stacking, a table just pops up and you're already on the river. And then you have to kind of like think about, oh, what happened pre-flop, what happened on flop, what happened on turn, to make a good decision. Whereas when you're tiling, you can follow the action flop, turn, and pre-flop as it's happening. So, you know, it's a lot easier to make a, a good decision in my opinion. Number four, use hotkeys. Well, hotkeys are useful in poker because it allows you to make decisions, decisions really quickly. Uh, if you're playing a lot of tables, you know, you don't really have time to kind of click the very specific spot where the fold button is. With a hotkey, you can just hover over the whole table area and click the fold button. You know, you can be on the top left corner, top right corner, middle, and it'll still fold for you. So you can just make a lot of decisions really quickly. You know, I think the most important hotkeys to have are the default actions, you know, checking is really important because a lot of times when you call a bet, you're just going to have to check it to them right away. These really basic decisions are the ones that you want to have hotkeys for because those are the ones you're going to be using the most. And then I would say also having some kind of bet sizing hotkeys are really important too. You know, if you normally make it three big blinds pre-flop, you know, have a three big blind hotkey, that way you don't have to keep on clicking it several times before you click it. You know, every action that you save one extra click that you save, you know, just one less strain on your hand and saves you time. Number three, minimize distractions. So there have been times when I've been playing and I'm really in the zone, you know, I can really feel the flow of the action and play really good. And all of a sudden my phone lights up and now I'm thinking about who messaged me and what's going on. Then I just kind of forget what's going on. I think it's important not to have any distractions so that you can just stay focused and play your best consistently. Number two, use a HUD. I think it's really important to have a HUD while multi-tabling because you want to be able to make decisions really quickly and you know, you're going to want to know who's the tight players, who's the loose players, and if you're not paying attention, you're not going to know this. So using a HUD is going to tell you that really quickly. And then you'll also be able to focus on the action at hand rather than also thinking about, you know, how loose the player is. And number one, add tables slowly. Add tables slowly because, you know, if you try to do it overnight, you're going to get flustered because you're probably not going to be winning as well and it might be you know, demoralizing that you're now breaking even play or barely winning, but you're now you're able to play a lot of tables. You know, really, you wanna think about your win rate first. That way, when you add more tables, you know, you're able to win more money and do well at the tables. I think it's really important to just take it slow and add one table at a time. You know, do really well at that and be comfortable, then add a table. There's no rush to being a multi-tabling master.